she has decided to spill all the messy tea about how Sharina has always been obsessed with stealing everything that Wendy has. I swear this drama keeps getting more and more chaotic, but this might just be the messiest update yet. Wendy Williams is truly having the last laugh when it comes to Sharina and Kevin because while she's busy making money moves, Kevin and Sharina are going through a tough time because they both have gone broke broke. Now, sources have claimed that Sharina swallowed her pride and reached out to Wendy in hopes of reconciliation, but Wendy doesn't want to have anything to do with her because she feels like Sharina has always been stealing from her and is now trying to get her hands on more of Wendy's money. Now, Wendy's anger is valid because Sharina has been blowing through Wendy's hard-earned money. According to Wendy, Sharina started off by stealing her man and she hasn't looked back since. Sharina and Kevin started their affair way back in 2007 and they have been together ever since. Like stealing Wendy's husband wasn't bad enough, Sharina has also been spending Wendy's money. Not long after they started dating, Kevin bought her a house worth more than $750,000 and of course every last cent of it was Wendy's money. Sharina knew it but she just didn't care as long as the money kept rolling in. She always wanted Kevin to leave Wendy for her but she understood that they needed Wendy's money to live the lavish life they had gotten used to. This changed when Wendy filed for divorce but luckily for Sharina, Wendy agreed to keep paying Kevin alimony which meant that she would basically continue to fund their lifestyle. But then Wendy got fired from the Wendy Williams show and the alimony payments stopped coming in. Sharina was not having it so she tried everything to get her hands on Wendy's money. But she was not alone in this plot to steal Wendy's money because Kevin was also obsessed with the money. In an interview he said, as the husband for 20 plus years and the creator of the Wendy Williams show, I was entitled to my half of everything that we had just like any other couple divorcing. I went to the table in good faith and we reached what I thought was an amicable divorce. In fact, it was one of the fastest celebrity divorces ever. I had a feeling that Wendy's Wells Fargo advisor was up to no good but I was advised by my attorneys that everything was okay. Well in February of this year, Wells Fargo decided to stop paying me what was agreed. I'm like how could you the bank stop paying me all of a sudden? This didn't work but Sharina was not about to give up so easily. She then made Kevin come clean about how he had gone broke. I have fallen behind on most of my bills. I currently live in a community that requires payments to the homeowners association and I'm behind on that bill. If the homeowners association fees are not paid, foreclosure will soon follow. My car insurance hasn't been paid as a result of not receiving monthly severance payments. He continued, I'm behind on credit card payments because I have no money since the severance payments were suspended. My life has been greatly affected since the plaintiff stopped making payments under our settlement agreement. The fact that I am unable to sustain my life and pay my bills in order is extremely emergent to me. I cannot pay my bills and sustain my day to day living. Now this also didn't work with Wendy, so Sharina and Kevin took her to court over her own own money. But again, that didn't work out so well for them because they lost the case and even got into more debt because now they have to pay their lawyer fees as well as other fees associated with filing a court case. So does this mean that Sharina is going to finally give up? Well, no, at least not yet. As we said, she reached out to Wendy in hopes that Wendy would change her mind and she even tried to guilt trip Wendy. She allegedly told Wendy that she was letting her daughter suffer even though she's siblings with Wendy's son. But Wendy was not moved by this because she knew that Sharina was just trying to finesse her for money. She wants nothing to do with Sharina and she never wants to put herself in a situation where Sharina can steal from her ever again. Someone commented, Sharina, you need to use that energy to find some steady income. Lucky for you, the state you live in doesn't make the side piece pay for alienation of affections. Sharina, sit down and shut up, please. Another person said, Sharina is the most horrible person of the year. She has no shame. The more that she comes out, the better Wendy appears. Wendy's an amazing woman. And this other person commented, that girl needs to go get a job. How dare she think Wendy owes her anything? She should be glad Wendy didn't sue her for what she did. It's unlikely that Wendy is going to change her mind about this, so Kevin and Sharina better get real jobs soon or things are going to get even worse for them pretty soon. Karma is having a field day with them and it shows no plans of slowing down. But anyways, while we wait to see what happens next, y'all check out this next video.